I have always liked spaghetti squash, but I've also always had a couple of issues with it. For one thing, the strands always come out like really waterlogged, um, and so you don't want to accept any new uh, flavors or seasonings. I don't want to soak up sauce because they have so much water in them. The other one that I had is the strands are short, you know, I, and I would always uh, have these short strands, not like spaghetti. So for the second issue, I did a little bit of research on the biology of spaghetti squash. And you see that I cut across the middle as opposed to cutting it lengthwise. Most people cut it, cut it lengthwise, and I cut across the middle. And the reason is that the strands grow around like this. So when you cut them lengthwise, you're basically cutting through all the strands, and they'll never be longer than that. So this is a better way to do it. Now, what I have to do next, of course, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoop out the seeds, okay? And we get those out, and then I'm going to roast this to get it started. So I go out with that, get in with another spoon here, and take the seeds out. So I'm going to do that now for the other half, and I'm going to stick them on this pan here, uh, this way standing up, and I'm going to stick them in an oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. So uh, we'll be back later and get to the next step of prepping your spaghetti squash. All right, so the uh, spaghetti squash is all done. It's ready to go, and it's cooled down so that I can handle it now. Now, when, when I tested it to, to, to determine that it was done, basically in the oven I just opened the door and I stuck a fork into it like this. And if it goes through and you don't feel much resistance, then you know it's done. So the next thing you're going to do is got to, you've got to take the fork and you're just going to pull the strands out like that. Okay? So you're going to pull all the strands out. Um, and now we're going to address that second issue I talked about, which is that these are like really watery. They're really waterlogged. So I thought about this and I said, well, I just need to get some of the water out. So a partial dehydration. So I've got an oven set at 200, 225, somewhere in there. Um, and I put stuff in the line pan. So here's one that's ready to go. I've got all the strands sitting here in this pan. And that's going to go and sit in the oven, uh, that low oven. Now this is going to take a while, so you have to be patient. Uh, set a timer for every 15 minutes. And then and toss it because you're going to need it to dry evenly. So you want to, don't want to have clumps. So again, every 15 minutes, toss it, leave it back in, uh, and it'll start to dry out. And we'll see what that looks like later. All right, so I've got them right where I want them after four hours. So they're not totally dry, right? They're, but they're a lot drier not waterlogged anymore, and they're a little, a little crunchy, and that's the point. I have them fine, very crunchy. Now, I'm sure you want me to do something with them, so there is a part two to this episode. But first, the bonus round. I saved the seeds. Save the seeds, get all of the flesh off of them, clean them completely, rinse them, get them completely dry. And then, we're just gonna toss them with a little bit of butter, so, right? So mix those up with some butter, get them all nice and coated, and then hit them with your favorite spice mix or some other whatever, some kind of spice mix. I have something here, this is a kind of a Moroccan seasoning, so I'm going to put a bunch of that in there, I'm going to toss the seeds around in it until they're all coated, and then I am just going to stick them on this, right here on this lined sheet, and they're going to go in the oven, uh, 300 degrees. And uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. And they're going to be beautifully toasted seeds from my spaghetti squash. Anyway, see you next time.